This is this really is a surprise move. Uh, this is that no one really expected this. There was a smaller military shakeup earlier on in the week that was viewed as tied to the attacks in Sinai that killed 16 Egyptian soldiers. The military, the, the chief of intelligence was ousted and the head of the Republican Guard. And many people thought that was the fallout. This is a whole other area. And this really does potentially move the Muslim Brotherhood and President Morsi into open conflict with the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces. He has essentially fired the head of the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces. So we, it remains to be seen what kind of a reaction we're going to see from the Egyptian people and from the military. But the well, next few days should be very interesting. That's interesting, Ashraf, because the military haven't yet reacted. They haven't yet said how they're going to respond to this. Are they in a position to refuse this move? And what would happen if they did? Well, they, they don't have a lot of options for openly defying this. I mean, President Morsi is the president. He is the elected president of Egypt. If anything, he's the only person in this whole scenario who can claim I am elected. And that does grant a lot of legitimacy. He is taking a very large gamble that his electoral legitimacy will force the military into a corner. Because really, if you're the Egyptian military, there's not that many ways you can uh, de defy this or fight this short of a coup. And I don't think anyone wants to go there. Now, Ashraf Morsi has also scrapped the constitutional declaration limiting his powers while allowing the army to maintain a day of control. What does that say about Morsi's plans for his presidency? It's another bold move. Well, those two, I mean, those, the decision to scrap the constitutional amendment and the decision to fire the defense minister are sort of hand in hand because the constitutional amendment granted the military the right to name its own defense minister. So he was already violating that. It, 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 you know, it, it makes sense. He would have to declare that amendment as invalid in order to make the moves he has made today. So what happens now is the big question. Does it somehow go to the courts or does it become a public battle of who has the most popular support? Who can gather the largest crowds in Tahrir Square? Now, Ashraf, just talking about those crowds in Tahrir Square, just quickly, how is this, this decision likely to go down with the Egyptian public? I would imagine a lot of the Egyptian public is very nervous about this. The prospect of open conflict between these two sides. The Egyptian people are tired. They're a little worn out. We're in the middle of Ramadan. It's August. Everyone is worn out. So I think this is going to prompt a lot of social anxiety 